If you've been shooting with a digital camera for a while, you forget how much dust and scratches and, and little bits of hair or gunk can be on your negatives or prints when you scan them and bring them into Photoshop Elements from a scanner rather than from a camera. Retouching these areas is a regular part of the process, especially if you're working with family photos from the time before we had digital cameras. So it's good to see that Photoshop Elements 9 incorporates the latest content aware fill technology that many of you might have already seen in Photoshop CS5 in the revamped spot healing brush tool. This results in much better retouching of difficult areas and adds to the list of correction options that are already available in the program. So let's look at this particular image here and you'll see that we've got a range of little bits of dust and hair marks on the actual photo. We'll right click on the photo and we'll just jump through to Photoshop Elements uh, editor space from this main organizer space and then we'll get stuck into doing some retouching. If we get in a little closer you will see some of the areas that we're having difficulty with. Now if we go to the spot healing brush you'll notice that it's still in the same place on the toolbar but up on the options bar now we have an extra option here called content aware. Before we've been working with proximity match or some of you might have been using create texture. Let's now look at content aware. For most jobs it's probably a better way to go because it provides us with the ability to get Photoshop elements to look at what's around the area that we're retouching. And you can see I'm just working over the spots. At the moment I'm using a brush that has a fairly hard edge to it but sometimes you might want to drop down the brush to something that's a little bit softer and we'll just adjust that size and remember with the spot healing brush we can actually drag the brush and paint over the areas where we've got problems as well. Now if a tool you get a situation where the results don't resemble the sorts of changes that you want well then just try working the area again before you undo because applying the tool a couple of times provides us with the ability for elements to look around the area further and try and fill in the problem areas with much more accuracy. It's a very good tool it's a big change to the way in which the spot healing brush works and I think that you will find it a lot more effective when you're actually working to retouch the areas that are causing you problems, especially in these scanned originals.